If you look out the window, is this view here familiar to you? And do you rather spend your time on anything but cleaning your windows, cause they are either hardly accessible or you just don't want to waste your time on them? Well, today I'm going to show you a smart gadget that'll do all this work for you so you can spend your time on what's precious to you. What up guys, my name is Eddie Bear and welcome back to yet another episode. If you are one of my longtime viewers, you know that I'm a big fan of efficiency and I don't like to waste my time on tasks that can be outsourced to a machine. That's why I've been a big fan of vacuum robots for ages and why this time I wanted to give window cleaning robots a chance. Since I had great results with robot vacuums from Ecovacs, I decided to give their WinBot a try. So today I will show you if it's actually worth it to own one of these and where their limits are. So first let me show you what you get with the Ecovacs W1 Pro. Something that immediately caught my attention when I opened the WinBot packaging is the high build quality of the carrying case. And even more so when I opened it up, I was highly surprised how well they used the space within it. Everything within the case has its unique spot and it only consumes as much space as it actually needs. So if you store it, this way you won't be wasting any space in your apartment if you use the WinBot every once in a while in a few weeks. The first two very important parts of the WinBot that you will encounter in the packaging are the security tether and the power cord. But the power cord is not just a simple power cord, it also has a built-in battery. So if you accidentally lose power to the WinBot, it will not just drop off your window, it will stick to it and will tell you that you should reconnect the power immediately. And this now brings us to the included power brick. The good thing about the overall cable length of the WinBot is that it is so long that in most modern apartments you will not be needing an additional additional extension cord in order to power it. The WinBot also comes with a bottle of premix cleaning solution and I would highly recommend you to use only non-alcoholic cleaning solutions cause alcohol will deteriorate plastic over time. Inside the box there's also a measuring cup which will help you to get the ratio right if you have to remix cleaning solution yourself. Now let's take a brief look at the WinBot itself. In the front you have a strap that will help you conveniently place the WinBot on a window. Make sure that the rubber bands you find on the back of the WinBot are clean at all times because these actually make it possible for the WinBot to drive around on your windows. You also have the power button and a little window that indicates how much cleaning fluid is left in the WinBot. And speaking about the cleaning solution, on the front if you open this latch you can refill the tank. In order to clean your windows, the WinBot needs microfiber cleaning pads and two of them are actually in the box. But if you are planning on cleaning more than just two windows, I would highly recommend you to get a bunch more of them. And last but not least, you have the obligatory paperwork, but who needs that anyway if you have someone like me who explains everything in detail, right? With that said, let me show you what filthy windows we are going to work with and how we are getting them squeaky clean. So welcome to my living room. I'm not proud of this, but this is how my windows look after one and a half years not being cleaned. And it really looks bad, but I promise you the WinBot will take care of it. First things first, plug in the WinBot and let the battery charge for a while. Otherwise you will not be able to use it cause it will complain that the battery is not charged enough. Make sure to fill the water reservoir with cleaning solution, wet one of the microfiber cleaning pads and attach it to the Velcro on the back of the WinBot. While doing so make sure that the cloth gets as close as possible to the edges to maximize your cleaning results. If there is even the slightest chance that the WinBot could fall and hurt someone, please always attach the security tether to something. I was attaching it to my railing here. However, if you're cleaning the insides of your window, I don't think you need the security tether because the worst thing that can happen is that it will fall from the highest point of your window to the floor and that won't hurt anyone except the windbot, of course. Now the only thing you need to do is to press it against your window and it will automatically engage in cleaning. In this cleaning scenario, the windbot is set to deep cleaning. That means it will run over the whole window surface area twice before it's done cleaning. And if you're wondering how the WinBot is actually cleaning your windows, well it has an auto spray system which will periodically wet the window so you don't need to pre-wipe or clean them prior. And before I give you a look at the results after the first cleaning run, here's a word from today's sponsor. 
This video is brought to you by Lexar and their new NM790 NVMe SSDs. These SSDs are PCI Express Gen 4 and can deliver read speeds up to 7400 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 6500 megabytes per second. No matter whether you're a content creator or a gamer with significant storage needs, the Lexar NM790 series got you covered all the way up to 4 terabytes of capacity. You can find the links to the Lexar NVMe SSDs in the description and thank you Lexar for sponsoring today's video. And here we go, this is the initial result. I did not wipe down the window at all, this is how the WinBot left the window after just one initial cleaning run. Sure, there are a few spots that are quite resistant and there are also some wiping marks, but aside of that, for the state that the window has been in, this result is mind-blowing. It turns out the WinBot has only one weakness, it can neither get into the edges of your window nor the corners. Sure, you will need to clean these areas by hand, but still it's less work than if you have to do everything by yourself. After these first initial great results, I decided to continue with the two remaining dirty windows and while the WinBot is doing its thing and cleaning for me, I just went ahead and did whatever I needed to do that day without actually worrying that it would fall or need my assistance. So the cool thing is once the WinBot is done with its work, it will hover in a resting position and once you're done with your thing, you just come back and just pick it off the window. But having a cleaning robot like the WinBot is not only about convenience and not having to clean yourself, it's also about security. You can see here that my window barely opens and whenever I needed to clean it, I always have to lean outside and this potentially puts me in danger to fall over the railing. Same goes for very tall windows, like in this example here, where you normally would need a ladder in order to access the upper part of the window. So yes, you can also clean skylights, however, if they are too steep, the WinBot will shut down on you for security reasons, and therefore you will need to lower the incline by opening the window, so it's pretty much like a basic window to the WinBot. Circling back to my living room windows. These are the cleaning pads I was using on them and I used one cleaning pad per window and I flipped it around when I cleaned the inside part of the window. For reference, the pad on the bottom is a fresh one so you can see how filthy they turned after just one cleaning run. And that's also the reason why I said in the beginning that you will need an army of these cleaning pads in order to get all your windows squeaky clean. And if you're using clean pads on every single window, you can see that the results absolutely speak for themselves. Also the cleaning pads are washable so you just wash them afterwards and they're as good as new. But of course the WinBot is not just a standalone household helper, it's also smart. Meaning you can remote control it with the help of the Ecovacs app, but be aware it connects through Bluetooth not Wi-Fi so make sure to stay close. And here's an overview how you can connect your phone with the WinBot and what options the app has to offer. Fire up the Ecovacs app and select the QR code scanner. Scan the code, select done and hit next. Once again, I've switched on the robot, hit next and continue. Your phone will look for the WinBot and connect to it through Bluetooth. Once the WinBot is paired with your phone, select the language for the voice prompts and you're good to go. Within the app you can select between three different kind of cleaning modes. Fast mode, deep cleaning and spot cleaning. Fast mode is, as the name says, the fastest one. Deep cleaning will get the bot as close as possible to the edges of your window and spot cleaning is for all the resistant spots that you still have left on your windows. By selecting remote control you can completely control the WinBot if it's placed on a window. By selecting between inside or outside you can flip the manual controls and if you feel fancy you can even spray the window and clean it manually. Once you're done select return to corner and the WinBot will automatically return to the designated corner. And last but not least in the advanced settings you can select whether you want the cleaning program to run once or twice. At this year's IFA, Ecovacs already announced the W2 Pro, so the new WinBot. It will come in its own carrying case with a built-in cable management. It will also feature a built-in battery, so you will no longer need an extension cord if you have a window somewhere where no outlet is around. And it will also have a new and of course also improved automatic spray system, which further will improve the cleaning performance. So far the price point has not been set yet and the release date is also unknown, we only know that it is super supposed to be released somewhere in the middle of next year. So having in mind that the W2 Pro has been announced, should you consider waiting for it? 
Honestly, I don't think so. Right now, we have the Black Friday and Christmas deals around the corner, and you can make a good bargain on it. Also, the new WinBot first will be more expensive, and it will only offer little advantages over the W1 Pro. So I would go for the W1 Pro WinBot instead. It's a huge relief if you have windows that are not easily accessible to you, or you just don't have the time to clean them. I should also point out that I had this bot for almost a year now and I clean my windows with the WinBot every few weeks because it's easy and reliable. By hand I was only cleaning maybe once a year or so. And the more often you let the WinBot do its thing, the easier it gets to keep your windows clean too. So with that said, do you have any questions regarding the W1 Pro or the W2 Pro? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.